importance of rig testing to Rolls-Royce products is, is absolutely vital. It plays a major part in ensuring the products are best in the world. The Mechanical Test Operations Centre, known as the MTOC facility, here at Rolls-Royce Deutschland, Dalewitz, just outside of Berlin, offers some of the best rig test facilities anywhere in the world, if not the best. So people that work here tend to stay a long time Fatigue life is to understand the number of cycles to failure of a component, which is a perfectly normal thing to do for anything mechanical. If it's mechanical and it suffers load, then it'll have a life, and that's our job, is to understand what that life is. So we're surrounded by 13 vibration test cells. They're made to hold back noise. And in fact, if we look at this cell here, there's a test going on in there right now it makes a noise level equal to about 135 dBA, about the sound of a jet engine taking off. But you can't hear a thing, although it is very noisy in that cell. This is a typical cell. This cell is currently set up to do fan blade testing. So what you can see here is a typical fan blade. The old adage of if it rotates, it vibrates is very true for a gas turbine. The way we excite this blade in this case is by using compressed air through one of these nozzles here. And what we do is we use this to invoke something called flutter. When it's vibrating, you can barely see, you see a, a fuzzy sort of image. And that's because the blade is moving at a, a number of cycles per second. We are able to visualize this by the use of a stroboscope to allow people to see what a blade vibrating actually looks like. Another form of uh, excitation is provided by the use of piezoelectric crystals. We have a very unique form of here which was invented by one of our young engineers, a fellow called Mike Lindner. The Lindner Exciter as a technology has been very important to us, so we've patented that along with several other inventions that we've carried out here. It really revolutionised the time taken to carry out a vibration test. Previously we could take anywhere between two and three months to finish a test to carry out all the configuration required. What Mike did allowed us to reconfigure these exciters in something like 30 minutes. And it's things like that that make us really an important part of Rolls-Royce's portfolio of test facilities and really make our products some of the best in the world. So, we find ourselves now next to the general spinning facilities, or known as the GSF for short. And what we do here is we spin components such as turbine discs or fan blade discs. The way it works is we build the test article underneath the lid of the spinning facility. We then lower it into the facility, lock down the lid, and then evacuate the cell of air. It takes about nine minutes, and when that's complete, we do some checking in the control room, and then we start the test. We can apply heat up to about 1400 degrees C, and we can spin up to about 40,000 RPM, which is helicopter speed. One of the test facilities we have here is the LSSF, which stands for the Large and Special Spinning Facility. It consists of a 14 meter long vessel, which is just short of about seven meters in diameter. This is a one-off facility in the world. And in there, we test large fans. We spin them through a program to understand their fatigue life. So one of the tests we offer is low and high speed projectile testing. And this simulates what happens if a gas turbine suffers a bird strike we cast a gelatine rugby ball shaped object which simulates a typical bird shape. Um, and we launch this at a rotating fan and at just at the right time, the gelatine projectile arrives at the fan such that the leading edge slices it. And this tests the leading edge capability to withstand this sort of impact. So in here we test anything from purpose-made test specimens right through to components from in-service where we're perhaps carrying out some improvements. Um, in the facility we have somewhere in the region of 40, 50 different machines that offer a plethora of different test types from simple tensile testing to the more complicated test types such as crack initiation or crack propagation. 
One test type that we've been working on is thermomechanical fatigue. So we've worked very hard to optimize this and now we are world leaders in this particular test function. This differs from others in that we control not only the load but also the heating rate and the cooling rate simultaneously. So carrying out the testing in this way allows us to produce a result that more closely represents the product in flight. The future of Rolls-Royce and testing in particular is very exciting for us. We've got some new products coming in the near future, which means that we have to have equally new test types. We really look forward to it. We're very proud to be part of it.